YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to show you my trailer that I converted into a camper slash toy hauler. As you can see over there is my side-by-side -side that I'm actually hauling. So this cargo trailer had to be one that could fully collapse down to fit that in. Let me tell you a little bit about this trailer. It's a six and a half by 12 by seven foot tall trailer. It's a continental cargo, single axle. And uh, if you walk around here, you can see the window. Uh, we installed this window ourselves. Put a vent fan in and an inch and a half of uh, insulation in the roof. If you look over here, I've got a distribution hitch here. I've also got um, a powered jack, which helps out a lot for the distribution hitch. And I've got a um, custom-made propane mount there that my cousin made. So, uh, I have an air conditioner, and this is where the air conditioner gets its intake from. It's just a room air conditioner, but uh, it doesn't work right unless you vent it or have an intake separately. Uh, so we had to find that out the hard way when we were down at the Badlands, and select, this was a sweat box. And let's go inside and take a look, see what it looks like inside. So here's the inside, and uh, this is a table that I made. There's an Allen, Allen key that just you just undo the Allen key and then the posts come up. Um, these are pretty cool little stools that we bought that just fold up when you're not using them. Got some cup holders. Uh, I installed some 12-volt uh, USB chargers on either sides of the bed so we can actually charge our phones or whatever we use, our cameras. Uh, I got LED lights that run all the way down. We got these cabinets here that I made. Once again, we still gotta trim it out, but um, it does, I'll show you what it looks like here. Enough to store some snacks and some coffee and pots and pans and whatnot. Got some bread. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then down here, we've got the air conditioner and uh, we've got a five gallon water system here where it just pumps it up to our sink that I've made. And the sink is just running off one of these uh, DC pumps here. You can just run the water. And I used to have a five gallon gray water, but I plumbed that out when I put in the second battery for the solar setup, because you really don't need it because it's really just, uh, you know, drinking water, washing your hands, maybe brushing your teeth doing a, a little bit of uh, dishes, which if I was in a tent, I would be putting that on the ground anyways. Uh, we do have solar on the roof. We've got uh, 300 watt panels, and uh, this is a, a 40 amp M MPPT charge controller by Renogy. It does a really good job. And you see all our cables here. I'm gonna actually make a trim to cover this cable, all the cables, but I haven't done that yet. And it goes down to a mess of, mess of cables, which is I got two 100 amp hour batteries in there. And then I also have an AC to DC converter. This is for when we're at campsites um, that have AC that we can hook up to. Uh, we'll hook up to that and then we'll convert everything to DC because I run everything in here off the of DC. Everything except for the air conditioner. The air conditioner does need AC to run. I do have a portable generator. We really haven't even used it this year because we've either not used the air or we've been at places that to have AC hookup. So we use the AC just for um, running on the air conditioning. I've got a gas leak detector under here that's going to detect any gas leaks. And while we're here, I'll show you. I've got gas running here with a quick disconnect hose fitting. And uh, I actually made it so it can route up through here to connect to our stove. We've got our uh, Mr. Buddy heater, which I know does create a little bit of moisture, but as long as you keep uh, ventilation, it's really not too bad. This is for uh, using the restroom. We just got your basic uh, porta potty, I guess. Uh, we just put a bag in it, and then we got some kitty litter over here, right there. So that uh, put that down, and we use a contractor bag every time you do your thing. You know, we throw it away. We've got a five gallon bucket with a lid on it outside that we use as our dumpster. So we'll just throw it away then, and then we just dump it. I wall mounted this. We had DVDs and stuff like that. Um, I also have a 12 volt charger right up here. Cigarette lighter char charger. The proper wiring to charge it. 
We got these pack alls that are pretty nice. We, uh, this one's for all of our electronic stuff, charging cords and stuff. Red is for fire, fire starter stuff, um, matches, you know, whatnot. And then down here is our personal hygiene. We got first aid kit in here. Um, we've got some deep woods off and toothbrushes and stuff like that. As you can see, we got bunk beds. These are those um, disco beds. I actually had to cut them down a little bit to fit and then re-sew it, but uh, they're pretty comfortable. Uh, I got this little portable fan. That's pretty cool, <laughs> literally. Um, you just charge it up and it does a really good job of uh, keeping a little bit of noise at night and keeping the air circulating. And then uh, we got a, a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. It does it both. It just mounts right up like that, battery operated. The fridge is right here. It's actually a freezer and refrigerator combo. It does a really good job so far. We've had it uh, all summer and it's, it's been really good to us. It's about four degrees off, so it says 32 right now, but it's probably more like 36. With the solar power setup that we have, I can run infinitely in this configuration, even with without a great amount of sunlight. As long as I have some sunlight, like every other day, you know, it does a pretty good job with the 200 amp hour batteries. I wish I had uh, lithium batteries, but I don't. Our short trips are, you know, one, two, maybe three nights. And so far I've been totally fine off of the solar. We did put rubber on the floor, did that ourselves too. And uh, put extra tie downs in the floor for my wheel bonnets for the side by side. I forgot the most important part, our memory wall over here, which it needs to be updated because I haven't printed off the pictures in a while, but these are all the fun times that we've had in the trailer. Uh, we do a lot of off-roading, camping. So you can take a look at those. Here's what it looks like when it's all broken down and ready for the side-by-side -side to come in. You can see I got the beds on the wall. Here's the table and chairs. That has to stay open, that door, because I need that tie down for the front tire. And this is what it looks like with the side-by-side -side loaded in. Not a lot of room to work, but just enough. That's what we got, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.